in this video a voltage controlled oscillator that works with a 555 chip. And perhaps there are many many videos on uh, the World Wide Web. But I want to <coughs> say give this circuit. It works very very good and I will try to give all the ins and outs. This is that 555 chip. Here is the loudspeaker that gives a kind of information, of course, when we hear sounds. And here is the schematic. I have by purpose drawn it in this way. So with the pin, pin connections here, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc, etc. And it is in fact a very simple circuit to make. Don't forget of course to make these wires from 4 to 8 and from 2 to 6. That's very important otherwise you uh, will see that it surely doesn't work. Uh, the say more or less electronic schematic is here. It is in fact uh, exactly the same to that other uh, circuit. But perhaps interesting to see that when you change the capacitor value here, so 10 nanofarad could be 68 nanofarad, the frequency will substantially change when you say give voltage between 0 and 30 volts to the circuit. And I will demonstrate that. Now let's put on everything the scope, the power supply to the circuit and of course you hear now the frequency that is generated and uh, it is a kind of needle pulse. That has, uh, is important to tell. A needle pulse frequency approximately 7 kilohertz. Uh, quite nasty to hear that anyway. But when we lift up the voltage here, so that's the voltage here, via the 10k uh, resistor to the 555 chip, we hear another sound. And you can see that it is a needle pulse. So when you don't like it or don't need it anyway, no problem at all. But it is a needle pulse. And I change now here the supply voltage to that circuit. The voltage controlled oscillator. Anyway, also important to tell that when you change the supply voltage, you uh, get to into another frequency band. Now it's 12 volts. Seven volts. And now it stops. So here it starts on six volts. And now 12 volts. Well, I, I didn't want to damage the circuit anyway, but you could hear the complete different effects regarding the frequency. Anyway, so the supply voltage has uh, an effect that also means that um, when you want to uh, use this cir circuit in a serious application, use a 12 volt stabilized 
power supply. Say the 7, 8, 1, 2 or so. Here the circuit again. And here again that other circuit. The more or less schematic. And I only wanted to show uh, one other effect. And that's when you change this capacitor. It's now 10 nanofarad, 10,000 picofarad, and it sets the frequency. And you can see that on the scope. And I have now here in my hand a capacitor of approximately uh, 68 nanofarad. And I'm going to bridge now here that uh, tuning time tuning capacitor. You can directly see that the frequency changes very, very substantially. But the good thing of it all is that it works. So, uh, uh, I shut off the supply voltage because it's a very annoying circuit anyway. Uh, annoying in terms of the sound that it generates. Of course this is a speaker. You can of course take out the signal without that speaker when you um, uh, use instead of that speaker a 8 ohm resistor. So you can pick up the signal here or here between these two electrodes. Uh, I think it's a properly working circuit. Voltage controlled oscillator now in the audio band. <coughs> but when you change that capacitor perhaps you can go to the uh, higher frequencies and then I mean uh, 20 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, etc. Take your time, do experiments. One of the aims of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. It gives needle pulses and of course there are perhaps possibilities to get uh, not a needle pulse out but another kind of say square wave pulse out.